Okay, so in this video, I wanna show you how to create the remote control preset. And you can go to the content browser, you can right click, go to miscellaneous and click on remote control preset. I've already done that for one and I've named it training. So go ahead and do that. And when I double click on this, you'll see a panel open up. Um, it's empty by default here and you'll see one group that says default. Now in here, we can go ahead and enable this edit button and the edit button you'll see to the right or to the left of every property uh, you will have a little eyeball icon so in here I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, one of these lights and I'll search for the visibility that was the uh, switch that I showed earlier and we can go ahead and add that in and we can actually add change the names to these so if we know light one for example um, and we'll go do the same on a couple more of these. And this one here. And we can we can rename in here. These will show up uh, as the starting point in the web app. So it might be a good idea to um, just rename these. Now the nice thing is if I select say light one again, it selects the actor for me. So I can quickly get to um, that actor that's uh, selected. So I'll do the same for this. I'll name this light four. And then uh, this one's a lamp here. So I'm gonna remember that this is the lamp. Okay. And uh, let's say I want to control some of the post-process settings. And here I'm gonna go ahead and search for the post-process. And I'm going to create a new group and let's call this post-process. So it'll stay organized and whichever one I have selected it's going to add that into the, uh, the group so for this uh, I know I want to control the contrast and I'll go ahead and click this let's make sure that this is enabled you can see here if I don't have this enabled it's a little deceiving but the web app um, will be controlling it but it won't actually be turned on let unreal see those changes so make sure you have the checkbox uh, selected then I'm gonna do this saturation and I'll do the same. I'm gonna check that on. And that's, you know, again, some of the settings that's through the post process. Sometimes it's a little easier for me to search than to go ahead and, and look for all those. So let's do the vignette uh, so we can see that. And let's do the color temperature. So go ahead and turn on the color temperature. Now you can always delete these and you can see it's been removed from the panel and we can click and re-add. We can also reorder those or potentially even move those into a different group just for better organization's sake. Um, but it's easy to uh, set up the kind of template to quickly go through the properties that you want. And you can also reorder groups. So let's call these lights. The order doesn't necessarily matter for the web application and we'll see how to hook that up uh, at a later date. So we can go ahead and um, enable a bunch of those properties. I think we have enough to get started. Uh, next step, we're going to look at um, how to connect that to the web application and so we can get started controlling it through the web.